Today I'm going to talk about how I stopped getting fatigues like this. <laughs> and how I started planning and organising my runs like this. The problem with my runs like about one year ago is that I didn't really have like a flow or a connection for I was just thinking about how I could throw my biggest tricks possible and they all had to be big tricks that I knew how to do but I never really thought about how I could do like smaller moves that I'm on lock with and get better connections and quicker moves and smoother flow points you know what I mean and that if I actually focus on my flow points they get smoothed out for the creativity and the execution and the difficulty and they all kind of come together consistently which is what I went for this year I think everything was a pretty much a consistent slate for me it was just my flow and execution at the end because I went to do a flow open and I missed my foot but it all comes with if that would have been a 7 in execution and all the other stuff would have gone higher from the flow so yeah, I was really happy with the run I think what got me a score that was quite high is I landed every trick that I wanted so that gave me the execution points that were quite high but when I used to do my runs my execution was quite low because I'd roll a bit weird on the flip or I wouldn't land it or I would not do flow vaults that are very effective at all and it was kind of just a bit of a mess didn't really plan it that well like I had the tricks there, the tricks were there and the, the execution just wasn't there but my tricks were there just the execution and I really went through myself this year and was trying to build up my tricks for the past couple of months for the comp and for the past one or two months I learnt how to lazy side and then I learnt how to lash a splat back in the past two months they're the only like, moves I started practicing because that was the two solid things I wanted I really had that idea in my head the lazy side wasn't pretty, wasn't too bad because at Nova does a perfect setup to do a lazy side and you could just get two mats and just do it to the match because you're not going to hurt yourself if you land on your side a bit weird. Um, and when I got that I was really happy. The splat back was the worst part because it was at the end of my line. I just needed to make sure I was doing loads and loads of like last day's splat backs and loads of big running splat backs to get used to it. And I've been at Nova, when I went to Nova the past couple of weeks before the comp I thought I wasn't going to be able to commit to it because the preps were really scary. For skill round one I approached it very similar to Newcastle skill comp. I just wanted to go through the chances that I knew would build up my confidence first, go through the easier ones that I thought was easiest, and then go to the harder ones. But my, my unfortunate problem is when I got all the ones that I knew I could do and it got to the harder ones, it was super crowded. So all like the pole catch chances in the middle, there's a lot of people doing the harder ones at the end. Because obviously, the harder ones, everyone looks at at the end. So for next time, I would have definitely tried just doing the harder ones first and then smoothing my slay out when everyone stopped going for the easier ones if that makes sense and the way I stopped getting fatigued is I actually started like before I planned the run I was actually connecting the moves and the flips in a consistent thing so I wouldn't just do one flip and then praise to the Lord that I could do it all at the end I actually practiced for the past couple of months and just getting connections and flips and getting my flow as high as possible and making sure my runs are more than 10 seconds long which was important to do because <laughs> um, it did a lot of strength and conditioning as well and a lot of stuff behind that which would get my cardio up and get my strength up for the um, everything I wanted to do in my run. The biggest inspiration I got from the other athletes is my mates Dan and Felix and they, their runs was such like that's how you do a run. They had like so much good parkour implemented with difficult and high school flips. I had a bit of parkour in mine but I definitely know for next year that I'm going to add like a big Kong Pre or a big running Pre or something like that because it definitely seems like that's more of a better and easier way to like get, get in a skill comp or get in a, like, get in a style comp well because if you have a lot of good parkour and you're a really good well rounded athlete like Felix and Dan you're going to be able to get through nearly every single year it's definitely something um, I'm keeping for next year in the head no, the way I thought about planning this run is from going from top to bottom instead of going bottom to top. Because if I go from the top of the gym to the bottom bit, I'm like not wasting as much energy and I'm able to do more groundwork. And if I'm doing more groundwork, it just means I have my energy to call, be, do bigger and cooler tricks. 
hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to make this video something I can look back at next year to look at all my Nova highlights. And I also want to show you how I broke down and understood stuff. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Like, subscribe, comment.